There we go. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Look, look how strong it is. Good morning from Southern Illinois, everyone. We are out here getting ready to spend the day chasing milk snakes and whatever else we can turn up. Uh, but we got a nice looking roadside board here. I'm here with Hunter and Chad, and we're gonna be flipping for the better part of the day. Oh man, dude, look at that. All right, let's get these sticky boys off. That's a little thick boy. All right, this one might, this is gonna be weird, cause, have to yeah. Off. Um. Oh God, there's so many. And then we'll lift it up with the poles. Okay, all right, I'll get this Hunter, pole. you wanna come over here and grab? Grab snakes. Get right, get right here. All right, up she goes. A lot of little boys, no snakes Look at though. Little dinky fellas. We got some nice rocks here. We're gonna check. Okay. Let's make sure Is that the one you're talking about? This that big, big guy. One right here, yeah. Goodness gracious, dude. Yeah, you wanna get up there? Come on. Oh, oh yeah. Yes, <laughs> see, that's what I was hoping we'd see. That's yeah. a nice one, dude. Yeah. Nice, clean, oh freshly God. shed. Look at that. First snake of the day, Black King. Well, that is not a bad first snake of the day, if you ask me. Uh, not exactly our target species, but definitely a cool find nonetheless. And uh, always excited to see king snakes in new places, obviously. Uh, this guy is what was formerly known as the Shawnee King Snake, kind of a colloquial name for these guys. I don't know if they were ever formally recognized or not, but but these guys are really common down here, so we'll probably see a couple more of them today if I had to guess. But we're gonna get back to flipping and hope for a milk snake. All right, buddy. Let's see if you can get under right there. Yep, sure can. First snake of the day. <laughs> All right, guys, this is our first spot. We're climbing this gigantic hill, our first like main stop for the day. All that other stuff was just on the way. And uh, we're gonna be flick flipping rocks for milk snakes up here. So we're gonna get to it and I'll let you guys know how it goes. First find here, a little cave salamander under a rock. Check this guy out. Just hanging out. I'm gonna pull him out for a second. There we go, first cave salamander of the trip. Pretty cool. These are really cool looking salamanders and we don't have a lot of them in Georgia, so it's nice to see them. Well, there we go, our second snake of the day. Yet another Western smooth earth snake, this time in Illinois. This is a pretty rare species. Um, like I said in the o Oklahoma video, Probably an even better find here in Illinois than it is in Oklahoma, but got a couple quick photos, gonna put it back under his rock and keep flipping. All right guys, Hunter just got our next snake of the day. A little uh, Mississippi ring neck here. Look at that guy. So we did see a couple yesterday, but this is actually the first one I've seen in Illinois, so. What on earth is he doing up here? Oh God, chill. A big marbled salamander up on top of this hillside. Pretty cool. This is my first marbled salamander in Illinois. Obviously, we see a lot of them in Georgia, but I'm just going to put it back under his rock. There we go. Oh, got him. Holy crap. Well, guys, that right there is the main reason for this trip. I wanted to see a Illinois red milk snake, and there we go. Obviously, it's not, you know, the most drop-dead stunning individual, but it's a good start. And we have the whole day ahead of us to look for more. This guy's just starting to go into shed. So, or just about to come out of shed, one of the two. So he's not looking his best, but still, you can tell this is a really nice little milk snake and would probably be a screamer as an adult. Um, the babies are generally uh, not quite a really accurate representation of what they'll look like when they get bigger. So it's hard to tell. One interesting thing about this guy is his tail. He's got a scarlet king snake tail <laughs> on a milk snake. I've never seen anything quite like that. But anyways, gonna put him back under his rock and keep flipping. Right, buddy. Go on. 
All right, guys, next snake of the day is another smooth earth snake. Check this guy out. He is in shed, unfortunately, but about the same as the last one. They don't have much variability when they're babies like this, so I'm just going to put him back. A ring neck. Boo. <laughs> Only the second one of those of the day. All right, it's getting a little ridiculous with our snakes. Maybe they aren't as rare as we thought they were, but three of them here. We're just gonna put this guy back. Definitely the most common snake here so far. All right, guys, so Chad and I had to double team that gigantic rock, but underneath it were two black racers. I had one, oh, okay, don't do it. Here he come. He's doing it. Uh, we had one that went flying past us on the hillside. And these are the first two we've gotten in hand today. Pretty cool. Male, female. Yep, nice little pair. So we're going to, wow. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to put them back under their rock and let them get back to it. Milk, milk. snake. I got a milk. Yes. <laughs> I got a <laughs> nice, milk. Hunter. I got it on film too, nice. dude. Oh, it's a smoke. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> it's going to go in my pocket, though. It's gonna there you go. Back at, yep, it's gonna go in my pocket. I know it. Hunter got milk two for the day. <sighs> Hopefully, there's still plenty more ahead of us, but we're gonna keep flipping and find out. It's gonna be hard to beat this guy, though. This is a pretty incredible little snake. There we go. That is exactly what I came all this way to see. A stunner of a red milk snake here in southern Illinois. Freshly shed, beautiful red milk snake. Doesn't get much better than that. Second one of the day, too, and hopefully we'll see some more, but... I mean, this one is absolutely stunning. If we don't, I will take it. Somebody's being a little head twitcher. Look at this snake, though. So awesome. That's only the second milk. Wow. I'll jump. Oh my gosh. Crazy. What a good looking snake. <laughs> Alrighty. Go on. Go on. There she's going. There we go. Look at that. Oh, she's gonna come out the other side. Let's go get another one. Yep. Oh no. Yeah. Is he sitting? Yeah. It would be awesome. He thinks it's April. Look at that rock, dude. Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah. He thinks. So this purple monstrosity is currently in shed, unfortunately, but if it wasn't, Chad thinks this would undoubtedly be the nicest milk of the day so far because it has such nice reduced black, some weird coloration going on, but either way, really cool looking snake in shed even. Um, looks very different from the other two, obviously. So anyways, we're gonna photograph this guy and unfortunately put him back since he's uh, not in shed, there's not much to photograph, or since he is in shed, there's not too much reason to spend a terrible time photographing him. So just gonna get a couple quick photos and put it back under his rock. Alrighty, in shed boy. There you go. Maybe we'll see you one day with a clean, fresh coat. Probably. I think it's a smoke show. All right, guys, we just rolled up to a new spot. Pretty insane looking habitat. And like the fifth rock I flipped, that guy right there, it had this little smoke show underneath it. Look at that guy. Goodness gracious. Look at the, uh, he's got a real white belly too. Just look at this snake. That is so perfect. Such a perfect little snake. Oh my goodness. Anyways, milk snake number four for the day. I cannot believe how well today is going. We're going to put this guy back under his rock and keep it moving. All right, little man. Go on. This habitat is so insane. A toad, what is he doing under there? It's, uh, this one looks good, but it's in a weird spot. Nobody, look at that one right there. That's the money rock. Let's see, i move this off of it somehow. Holy crap. It's a nice little eastern box turtle. I think that's the first one we've actually gotten to look at. We've seen a bunch crossing the roads, but I haven't shown them. But Chad's got a nice rock over here. A couple of them. Couple of them. Yeah. Holy. <laughs> Dude. 
Well, I missed the flip clip on this one too, because I suck. But under that rock was that. Mm. Our fifth milk snake of the day, right? Number five. Goodness gracious, dude. Look, at that is an unreal animal. Holy mess. Look at the, it's just got every the little milk, scarlet kingtail too. Yeah, every milk in this county has a little scarlet kingtail. That's so goofy. <laughs> It's like the last one, the but snake. It is. It really is just like a carbon copy of the little one, but bigger. And he's got a better head. He's got little eyebrows. He does, doesn't he? <laughs> what an incredible snake. Just take a look at this snake. What on earth? That is definitely the best one of the day so far. And one of the nicest red milks I've ever seen. Just, oh my goodness gracious. Five red milk snakes so far today, and not much else, really. No. <laughs> At all. Okay. Like two ring necks. Milks are now the most common snake of the day. Yeah. Wow. All right, we're going to put this guy back under his rock. Keep flipping. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Look, look how strong it is. Oh, nice. He's got a big old food bolus. Yeah. The little racer just took off. That rock, this rock will flip. Yeah. His rock will flip too, I think. Whoa. All right, here's a nice looking little box turtle. Check that guy out. Anyways, we're flipping this rock cut looking for snakes. Have you ever found a milk in these tins? The only milk I've ever seen here was with you. Oh. Over there. Still one of the coolest milks. Yes. No, I Ring have neck. a winger boy. Um, I honestly haven't hit it that much, especially as it's Come on, camera. So we're going through this giant tin stack here, and we came across this milk snake that had been crushed, either pinched by a herper or someone out here moving this tin around, but it's dead, unfortunately. But absolutely beautiful snake. Really nice one. That sucks. Ringer. Grab him, throw him out. One thing I love is when I pull this out. I just don't know that this stuff has been here for very long. Well, it hasn't been. Pass that to me, I can. Yeah, ring neck. Is there a bunch of red bellies out there? Looks like a ring neck. I didn't get a really a good ringer. look at it. Another big garter. Wow, look at that. Oops. Big red uh, eraser. Got the garter. Look at that thing. That's good. Is that a different one? Is this new? Ringers. They'll, they'll fall. Ringer. Milk. Milk. He's dead, but... <laughs> Good no, all right guys here's one more look at this really unfortunate looking milk snake we just flipped uh we're just gonna leave this guy alone he's very obviously not long for this world so <laughs> two really rough milk snakes at this spot so far the amount of ring necks here is insane look at this guys four yeah, of them right here teeny tiny one over here more ringers yeah. four of them right here three of them are teeny tiny guys i never get anything under this it's a single. Yeah. Very cool. I'll let you go on that side and I'll just hold the pieces. Okay. Oh, nice. Big That's ribbon. a beautiful ribbon. Look at That's the first ribbon snake we've seen this trip. That's a really incredible ribbon Really snake. good looking snake. Wow. Uh, or pro uh, Yeah. Wow. What is he doing, dude? Look at that. It's in, dog. I know where it's in. Oh, nice. nice. He's pretty. Yeah. Nice little blue black racer. Yeah. See him? Okay, chill out. Look at that guy. That was a good looking snake, dude. Alrighty, buddy. Good looking snake. 
There's another guard. <laughs> what is he doing? What on earth? Do you see this, Chad? All right. Look at that little guy. Look at that. He's a northern ringneck. <laughs> Was that under that rock? I've never gotten anything under this rock before. Dude, that's milk snake number eight total, eight. including oh my the dead one. Christ. <laughs> Look at that. So that milk started shedding when we picked it up, like the one in Alabama, and just, goodness gracious, look at this snake. I mean, we've seen some rough-looking milks today, but this thing is, and we've also seen some really nice milks today, yeah. but this thing is choice. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. That is number eight? Where's it yeah, seven? This eight. is eight, including the including dead guy? The dead one, yeah, I don't know what the deal with the dead one was, but that's a huge bummer. Um, but milk snake number eight, and we still got some ten to flip here. That little rock right there will probably come, I'm sure. Oh yeah, do it to it. All right guys, here's one more look at this milk snake before we let it go. Absolutely incredible. Undoubtedly one of the best of the day. I mean, this thing is just stunning. <laughs> that is insane. Wow, oh dude. Oh my God, but yeah, today has just been absolutely incredible. One of the best days of herping I've had this year and one of the best trips I've ever had here up to Missouri and Illinois this weekend. Just a rocket run for two days, but man, we turned up some killer stuff. This might end up being the last thing y'all see for today. I might do a little herping on the way home tomorrow, and hopefully that will be able to be a separate video if it's productive enough, so. All right, all right, guys, it's time to part ways with milk number eight under his little mossy rock that he doesn't apparently recognize at all. Put him around this. Oh, he's going. See if I can scare him back towards it. Okay, yeah, he's going under it right there. Awesome. There is our fourth smooth earth snake for the day. Kind of random, but uh, under a rock with a bunch of ring necks. We're gonna put him back. All right, guys, well, that's gonna be it for this little rocket run. Uh, I was gonna herp, it's actually the next day now, but I was gonna herp in Tennessee today, but as you can see, it's just been pissing rain all day and it's just not gonna be possible to get in any herping today. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna head home back to Georgia for a couple weeks. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. It was a really fun little weekend trip to the Midwest. I had a lot of fun, got some lifers, and saw some incredible milk snakes. So I was excited about it. Uh, I love that area. I'll be back to Illinois and Missouri. Really cool. Um, really awesome, diverse states with some great herb numbers. It was just all around a great time. But anyways, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.